Hello everyone. I am the Spaceman. I have hovered into your area once again. It's late on a Monday night. How are you all doing? Hope you are well. Um, myself, I am sitting and enjoying my Savinelli Roma Tortuga 673KS Rusticated, and in the pipe, I am smoking some HH Old Dark Fired. Yes, this is a very good um, bold flake of dark fired Burleys in a well balanced unity with flu cured Virginias. And it's a very good, uh, has a robust earthly flavor and it has a sweet flavor for Burley. It's like kind of like smoking um, Solani aged Burley Flake or Cornell and Deal Big and Burley with some sweetness in it. But tonight is not a review on HH Mac Barron's Old Dark Fired. This is going to be a special box opening. Why do I say special? Because it's not just a box opening with some tobaccos, but I also have a new pipe. Yep, that's right. A new acquisition to add to my itinerary. Been looking at some pipes on the sites. Smoking pipes, tobacco pipes, pipes and cigars, and kind of, uh, you know, selected a bunch of them and narrowed them down and to this one particular pipe, which is really awesome. I really like it. And this, this package is from TobaccoPipes.com, which is in Spring Hill, Florida. And their stuff usually gets to me, like, pretty quick. I mean, I'm not that far from them. I'm in Lakeland, so usually gets here quick. So let me uh, get this package open. With no further ado, let's cut the box, shall we? Hmm. bit of a hard time here with this one. I don't know if my knife is getting dull here or what. <sighs> Might need a little sharpening. Yeah, I think it does. I have to bring it into the old shop and uh, give her a grind. So I got some other surprises in here as well. So what we're going to do is start with uh, the other stuff before we get to the pipe. Now this is something that I have actually never ordered before, and this is, well, you know what, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you see the kind of box it's in, right? <laughs> well, look, you can read it right there if you want before I open it. It is a... See, I don't even know if it'll focus. A Lane Limited Tobacco Jar. My first official uh, pipe tobacco jar with a name actually on it. So let's take her out of there. It is plastic. So this is pretty nice. Got the beautiful uh, Lane Limited label on it with the lines. Since 1890, I love that. That's fancy, isn't it? Scandinavian Tobacco Group. And of course, it is a 
Let's see, call this a uh, ball or a. Um, I'm trying to think of what they call these jars. See, I can't remember. But the jars that clip down like this they actually have a name for them. Um, now, this is unique because I didn't see this at first. I didn't know this. You can actually. Uh, has labels you can actually put on the jar. I'm just wondering how many it actually has. And it also has a cedar. You see that cedar disc on the bottom? It's uh, secured to the bottom of the jar to help it stay fresh. see now. I just want to get a good look at uh, what we got here. How many different uh, tobacco labels do we actually have here? Very interesting. And I see there's a lot of them here. Oh, okay. They all they're all the same. No, they're not all the same. We've got dark red, which I do actually have lean dark red. We got PLC LL7. Let's see if we got one Q. We should have one Q somewhere here. I would hope so. No one Q. Uh, oh, well. Very Cherry. Virginia. RLP6. That's kind of strange. One would wonder why they don't have one Q. Since that is a very popular blend. Oh, here we go. Yes, it's here. I missed it. Sorry. If it was a rattlesnake, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> We've got two one cues. Okay. So we're all set, man, with that. That is really cool. Yeah, I really like that. Very interesting. I know what the jar, the name of the jar is now. It is a bale top jar. Okay opens up this way and it seals and I'm sure you've seen these a million times this was uh, not a bad price it was $14.99 and I'm really kind of liking it don't know how long the tobacco will actually keep in this jar but let's hope it keeps for a decent amount of time I would imagine you would have to smoke it uh, within a reasonable amount of time don't want to buy too much and maybe give it a test run but uh, maybe a few ounces and just see just about how long it will actually last in the drawer with the bale top closed like that so yeah I, I like this a lot more than what i thought i was going to this is actually really cool it would be cool if it was real glass but hey you can't have everything can you Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just get it back in the box, right? You ever notice how you can never get things back in the box the way they came out? <laughs> never, never, never. Isn't that weird? Okay, whatever. I don't really need to put it back in the box. So. On to the next item. This McBaron HH Old Dark Fire is really good. It's like a
very sweet, flavorful barley. Great with some coffee. Of course, you know. I barely ever have my pipe without coffee, so. Or tea. Or occasionally, maybe a little bit of wine or beer. Okay, let's see what we got next here. Besides some packing material. We have a new tin of tobacco to add to my cellar. And that is, well, this won't be my cellar. I'll be opening this very soon. Well, it will be cellar because I'll be resealing it. And I don't smoke the whole, I don't go through a whole tin, um, you know, smoking the same blend continuously for a long period of time. But this is Cornell and Deal Red Burn. And um, it's a burly crumble cake, hand blended in small batches. And this is beginning with healthy portions of white and dark burley blended with red and bright Virginia leaf. Red burn then incorporates a touch of spicy dark fired Kentucky, topping it with the flavors of dark rum and molasses and pressing into an old fashioned crumble cake. Well, this should. Uh, from the looks of things and uh, what I've seen in the videos where they were actually pressing this tobacco. It looks really like a fine, delicious blend. Next. Let's get this over with. The old standby, right? The old constant for any pipe tobacco order. Three packages of BJ Long 100 extra long tapered pipe cleaners. I'll leave that out, right? Okay. All right, I dropped it on the floor. And now the next one is something very special, which I don't know is still whether it's still available on uh, tobacco pipes or not. But this one I got a notification in my email for ahead of time and I wanted to go ahead and flick the switch and give it a try. This is fourth generation small batch aged Virginia blend. Uh, this is supposed to be a really good, um, it's just straight Virginia and it's aged for like 10 years. It's blended by Samuel Galwith under the supervision of fourth generation tobacconists. And uh, this is supposed to be really good. I saw a review uh, from Smoking Pipes on this on YouTube. And um, like I said, it's aged for 10 years. So it's uh, probably a very nice, uh, smooth and sweet blend. Um, can't wait to try it. And, you know, if you look this up, by the way, on YouTube, it actually, when I, when I do the review on this, which I will be doing, it actually comes, when you open this up, there's actually a small, like, humidor-style box. It opens up, and then you've got the gold um, fold-out cardboard, or paper card um, fold-out uh encasing where the tobacco is inside kind of like the hh all dark fired and much like the other blends like the salani i think has that or it may not be gold with the salani but this one's gold so it's really nice and it looks like they've sent me a cigar cutter here cigar snips so they sent me a nice little just plain guillotine style cigar cutter I had one before but it, it wore out and I I got a really nice one now so I don't worry about the the uh, cheap ones but it would be something you could keep in your car you know just probably put it in my car or something and use it when I'm 
if I'm stuck some, or if I'm out and about, and I end up picking up a cigar, and I don't want to get stuck without one, so. Now, here comes the main acquisition of this whole box opening. This is a pipe, and this pipe is an EWA briar pipe which is uh, I believe yeah this is made by Mater Pipier Pipier however you say that St. Claude France EWA St. Claude France made in St. Claude it's actually um, that's kind of strange because there's a web address here this is bootschoken.com I was not aware of that before I got this from Tobacco pipes. Now, where do you see this? I've already seen what it looks like online. This is going to be a fine presentation. I could not wait to get this. This was a very good priced pipe. But let's look at the price. The price. Let's look at the pipe before I keep yapping. Nice, beautiful. Look at that. Nice sock, isn't it? beautiful sock man that's nice I like that nice material here we go are you ready I can't curl my because uh, I'm drinking coffee and my tongue's kind of dry and here she comes I have to take her out of the plastic as I as we go Look at that. Look at that stem. Beautiful or what? Wow. Yes. Yes. I love this pipe. This pipe is so cool and so awesome. Beautiful pot shape. Beautiful stem design. Look at that awesome stem design, would you? I don't know what you would call that, but man, that is nice. Transparent, clear, with these little white blotches of color. And you can see the, uh, the draft tube or draft hole going through. Nice, nice. Precarbonated or carbonated, I guess it's a soft drink. Precarboned bowl, and see how that coloring comes white on the top. Kind of like the opposite of if you had a white pipe and you had a burn mark at the top. And it's the E Saint Claude France, and it says, "What's the year on that?" Or is that a year? No, it's not a year. 1009 is the uh, actual pipe. St. Claude, France. Let's see if we can get that in focus. 1009. And if you turn it around. It's just EWA. Nuage. I forgot to mention. Yeah, this is an EWA. I forgot to give you the entire name. It's an EWA Nuage. And it's a pot style. And it's such a beautiful pipe. I really like it. Take this down. I see that little white band there. Is that neat? It's a little white band where the stem fits to the mortise. Fits really well. Not too tight and not too loose. And it has uh, one of these little, uh, z what are they called, zingers. You know, I can't remember what you call those things. <laughs> I can't remember the name of these things. But I really don't want that thing in there. Um, I pulled it out, of course. Stenger. 
Well, let's call it a stinger. I, uh, I'm really not going to put it back in when I'm done smoking it. So I, I may keep it for posterity's sake or whatever. So, let's see. Let's get a nice stem. Um, nah, I probably won't put it back in. I'm probably just not going to bother with it. I'll put it in the box. And yes, the draft hole is dead center. Let's see if you can see that. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I just held it up to the light myself and looked at it. And it is dead center. So. Get the old keychain light out. And I'll let you have a look. See? Beauty, isn't it? Yes. You know, I don't even remember, like, the, these stingers. I, I don't... I guess they're to keep tobacco bits. Out of your pipe, out of your mouth, I mean. So, let me see something. Yeah, I imagine that's what they're for, right? Yeah, but it probably gives a restricted draw. So, maybe I'll try it with it, maybe I won't. I don't know, but I'm going to take it out for now. So, yeah, this is a beautiful uh, acquisition. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, I, this was well worth it. I don't usually tell the prices on here, but I'm going to tell you because it was a very good price uh, for the beauty of this pipe. It was uh, $54. So I have to share that with you because it was a very... In my mind, a very good price for a pipe, and um, I'll be smoking um, Englishes in this, English and Balkans. Maybe I can get myself a black and white suit to theme it with. Anyway, enough about that pipe, right? Well. I am going to uh, hang out and uh, for a while here tonight. Smoke my burly. My each age old dark fire. My Mac Baron. Very good. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you a look at the, uh, well, you probably, most of you probably have seen this. But you can see the nice uh, flakes in there. Very good. I like it a lot better than what I thought. But I will do a full review on this. This is just a first, kind of like a first um, impression. A light laid back. Relaxing first impression smoke. Okay, folks. Hope you all have a good evening. Thank you for stopping in. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. You're just a rock and roll queen, you know what I mean. I'm just a rock and roll star. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, right on, yeah, uh-huh.
That's right, say it again. I said say it again. I said say it again. 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 <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Mm -hmm.